Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have an eyebrow first impressions for you all. It's going to be on the Maybelline Brow Satin Smoothing Duo Brow Pencil and Filling Powder. Basically it comes in this one little stick form and apparently there is two ends. I haven't opened this before so I really don't know what I'm going to expect. I did pick up the shade Dark Brown because I do own another pencil from Maybelline and I own it in dark brown for that one it matches me quite well so I just picked up the same shade in this one um, I think I paid $16 for this so I hope it's good because it's quite expensive for a pencil but oh okay so one end is a retractable pencil so that's quite cool yeah that's quite nice it's similar thickness to my MAC one, the MAC Brow Retractable Pencil, but I can notice that this one does twist down, so that's a bonus. Because my MAC one, once you twist it up, you can't put it back down, and I don't know why. Ooh, okay, this does not come off. This other end. Does this, oh, okay, hold on. Oh my god, what the hell just happened? Does this, oh, okay, hold on. Oh my god. Okay, so that cap just flung off. There's powder on here, but I don't know where more powder is going to come from. Okay, whatever. Oh, hold on. No, there's a little like spring thing that like retracts out of there. So maybe the powder's in this little cap. I don't know how that's going to work, but okay. Um, there isn't really many directions on this. It's literally just got two pictures. Um, one saying draw in the eyebrow and then the other one saying shade the eyebrow okay we're just gonna try it and we're gonna see how it goes hopefully you're zoomed in enough because this is as far as my camera will let me zoom in so yeah hopefully you can see this is my before this is my before and then I guess I'll show you after so I'm just gonna go in with the pencil side first nothing's really happening nothing's really happening I'm starting to get a bit of colour. Okay. It's a pretty how you go on brow pencil so far. Colour's nice, but then again it's not really giving much colour at all. Oh yeah, you can see a lot of a difference now when you look in the camera, but in real life I can hardly see any difference. Okay, I like how that filled that in. It's quite a natural filled, filled in brow. Um, I might do the other one and then come back to this one. Yeah, it's quite a hard pencil. So if you do like those, this might be one for you to try. I personally like more pigmented pencils. Not super pigmented, but quite creamy, just so I can kind of get my brows done faster. Because I feel like this is going to take a really long time. I've never used this before. Obviously, that's why it's a first impression. And I've also never seen anyone talk about it before. So that's why I thought it would be good to kind of test it out on camera with you guys oh my god I almost hit myself in the eye did you guys see that <gasps> you know when like something like almost hits you and then your body gets all tingly that's just happening Ooh. so this side's definitely giving you very very natural eyebrows like I wouldn't say that that's over the top at all I would personally that say that's underfilled for my personal liking but we're going to go in with the powder now and see how that goes without it trying to fling across the room again. Okay, I'm not really too sure how this is going to work, but whatever. We're just going to try. Okay. Some powder comes off, like, can you see that? But it comes off in like little chunky balls. That's weird. Like, oof. know when you run out of the powder that's my question I don't mind how it looks but the application isn't ideal like I wouldn't want to apply my brows using a little sponge all the time and it wouldn't give you a very very precise brow either I'm gonna try and put the lid back on and maybe try and get some more powder this is so bizarre Like, I have never had a product like this. What the? Yeah, 
Wow, the lighting just changed really fast. This is what the eyebrows look like filled in, or at least this is how I think you're supposed to fill them in, because they literally just show you two pictures. One saying draw on the eyebrow with the pencil, and the other one saying to kind of fill it in with the powder bit. Do I like how it works? Um, it's okay. <laughs> it's not like, wow, but it's not a terrible product either. It's a little bit how you're going. Like, I do think it's a bit of a gimmick, I do like the pencil bit. That I love. Like, I think that it's a good pencil, especially for beginners, so you don't overdraw your eyebrows. Um, it does give you kind of like, you can kind of gradually build up your eyebrows. So I do like that. It does take a bit longer, but I do like it. This side, however, you've lost me here. Like, I don't think that I'll ever apply my eyebrow with like this sponge thing. I like, I don't know. This end's pretty weird. This end I quite like. I do feel like this product is lacking a spoolie. I do think that you would need a spoolie to do any eyebrow. And I don't know. Like, it's not... Personally, I would prefer if they didn't have that shitty powder side and instead they put a spoolie there. I feel like that would be a lot more helpful than the powder because I don't feel like the powder gives you very much precision at all. And I can see how that could get really bad really fast. Um, I do feel like my eyebrows need a tiny bit of brushing through just to kind of blend all the product together. Like even just brushing that spoolie through once, like a clean spoolie through once, I can see so much of a difference in my eyebrow and how much better it looks. So would I recommend it? I think it's a pretty big gimmick if you ask me. Like. Yeah, it's cool how it's got the pen and the pen's really good and then it's got like this powder bit. Like in theory, it's really, really good, but how the powder applies to the eyebrows, like yeah, it works and I get an okay eyebrow, but it's still a little bit how you're going. If that's any way to describe a product at all. It's good, but it's not good enough for me to recommend it to somebody and it's definitely not worth like the... 16 17 bucks that I paid for it. Um, I feel like you could definitely find better like Chi Chi's brow pomade That's amazing. Maybelline standard brow drama eye pencil. That's amazing Like I feel like there's so many better products on the market, especially drugstore I don't think I would recommend this to anybody really like if you were just wanting a nice pencil maybe Although that is quite expensive for a pencil. Maybe you can get it on a special, but don't think at least for me, I don't think that you could use both of them all the time. Like, I feel like I only use that powder bit once and there's like almost none left. <laughs> I don't know. Personally, I don't like it. I feel like it's a little bit of a gimmick, but it's an okay product. If you want to try it out, it won't be shit. Like, you'll definitely get your money's worth from it, but I do think there's better out there. Let me know in the comments down below if you found this video helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!